Well, howdy diddly daddy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Stews, and today, chums, for you guys, and if you were verse, I'm going well hunting and fishing. Yes, I spoke to this little chap, and he convinced me I should go. Yes, his eyes are pretty dead now, people. Pretty much he's lost his soul to the hobby. He says that it takes too much time, and things go astray. Yes, look at his dead little eyes, people. Anyhow, yes, I figured this is the hobby for me. I'm going to go well hunting. Heck yes, I am, so let's go and find my shippity ship and we're going to be flying out and we're finding ourselves a space whale. Now before we can actually find a space whale chums, we need to find an anomaly detector. And you find anomaly detectors by shooting asteroids. These space potatoes. We're going to go out there and shoot all of these. Now, that little geck inside of that station, he tells me because this is a mining system, it's rich in ore. You better become a miner rather than a whaler. But you know what? I've got perseverance, I've got panache, and I've got style. Yes, and more so, I've got patience. So I'm going to be shooting these asteroids for a while until I get myself a lovely anomaly detector. Oh, for fudge's sake, this is taking longer than I thought. One eternity later. Okay, well, my patience wore thin quickly, but anyway, I got my anomaly detector after about 30 minutes of shooting asteroids. You can see just how much tritium I've got on me, freaking mentals. Anyhow, now I'm going to call in my freighter. I'm going to create an auto save because that gek has warned me that sometimes weird things can happen when pulse fishing. You can run out of fuel while you're halfway through pulse fishing and end up using your anomaly detector when you didn't mean to. Or you might accidentally press the button and jump out of warp when you didn't mean to. Or you might get scanned by system authorities and they may stop you in your tracks and an anomaly may pop when you don't want it to. So jump in and out of your ship and create an auto save before you pop your anomaly beacon because because then you can reload if any of those dastardly things happen to you. There we go, my little black-eyed gecky friend. We have already taken the right precautions. I guess we have. So now I can pop my anomaly detector. And we can go detecting anomalies and pulse fishing for space whales. Here we go. Into the void, I dash. Yeah, so we're going to be um, doing this for a while. Now it's going to come up with different anomaly type sort of icons, which we're going to ignore. Yeah, that's a bite, but it's not a strike. You don't want to strike at that, because that is not a space whale. No, you'd know when it's a space whale, because you'd get a melody symbol and a picture of a freaking space whale as an icon. Anyway, this could take a little while, people, in the view of us. Uh, 12 o'clock midnight. Okay, well, it, it feels probably longer than it actually is, but here we go. We've got a whale song detected. Brilliant. Awesome. Hello there, my little whaley friend. Where are you? Okay, well, there's the icon. Let's go and see him. Radiance, whatever that says. Ogleblockledich. Yes. Sounds like a sneeze or something that you don't want to catch. Right there. Okay, well, this is an Euclid. It's got a nice wavy davy sort of dragon detail. So if you do want this, it's in a mining system. The anomaly detector didn't take as long as what I imagined. It probably did take me 30 minutes, actually. Yeah, and this took probably a good 40, maybe. Yeah. So anyhow, let's, uh, let's make friends with this one and add it to my fleet. You know what? I'll turn around in a moment. I'd aim back at the actual station. And we can see just how long I was bloody pulsing for, yeah? All right. Okay, well, some weird stuff's happening with my ship. Did you see that? I saw my ship fly into the screen there. Strange Twilight Zone is going on. Right, add to fleet. Brilliant. Okay, so let's spin this around. And let's see how far away I am from the station. I am 14 minutes away. Four, no, six days, one week. And yeah, 40 minutes roughly, 39 minutes, 39 minutes away from the frickin' space station. Right, well I think it's about time that I call in my freighter and uh, save. Because yeah, the last thing we want is to lose that. Oh, we're nearly called in the frickin' Nexus then. Right, well let's fly on and board my actual freighter. And we're going to be adding that one to our actual frigate fleet. I guess we are. Lovely jubbly. Right, um, yeah, go forwards a bit then. Go on, move. Uh, land? Oh, shite. Oh, freaking ass biscuits. Right, oh. Um, I think we're a little bit scuppered, lads. Uh, I can't get out of my ship. <laughs> shite! That's 40 minutes of my life. I'm never getting back. But at least we created that auto save. So I may have to do all that again. Arson, freaking biscuits. This is not freaking great, is it? Ah, camera mode to the rescue. 
No. Okay, landing gear hasn't even deployed. Oh, for fudge and hell's sake. Righto. Okay, well, I'm going to have to reload my autosave. And yes, that's 40 minutes of my life I'm never getting back. Thank you, Hello Games. Well, chums, you win some and you lose some, don't you, you know? But at least I made that auto save and I suggest you do the same. That little black-eyed geck was right. Check out my new toy. I got a Rancor! A freaking Rancor monster! He's freaking awesome. I love my Rancor monster. Anyway, till next time, peoples. Right, well, chums, yeah, that didn't go too swimmingly well. That whole whale hunting hobby of mine. Yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to partake in that too often, to be fair. It's a bit janky, isn't it? I should have jumped to another system, then saved people in the viewer burst. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thank you, new backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.